What's up, everybody? It's Candy Girl with my two cents on the latest and greatest discussion about why black men do not want to date black women. But before we get started, I don't care if you've been subscribed to me for one day, one week, eight months. I thank God for each and every one of you, and I really, really appreciate your support. If you haven't done so already, please um, subscribe to this channel. So Tyrese goes to Instagram and he says, I just feel the need to send a message to all those type of ladies, all races of ladies who just think dudes are just stupid. We know the difference in real hair and fake clips and fake clips ons. God, he's got terrible grammar. We know eyelash extensions. We know fake hard titties pointing in four directions with your ribs showing in the middle. Why so much separation? We know when we we know when you got little chicken legs and it leads to an oversized hashtag fake ass. You guys already you guys are really starting to go too far with manufactured beauty. Fake lips, skinny nose, barely can even breathe through your own nostrils, sitting across from you and you can't even hide your weave tracks? Come on. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just sending a message that us real men can see the bullshit. And if he decides to rock with you, it's just because they want to get one off. No one will ever take you serious like that or really make that move because you look like a manufactured clown. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, he just keeps going on and on and on. Okay. Um, I'm going to need you to have several seats. Number one, you're married. We all know that she might, might be a quarter black. She's someone who has Caucasian-ish features. Lighter skin, long, straight hair. Um, She's thin. That's what popular culture is saying is attractive and you are one of those people who contribute to that. For you to admonish them for doing something that you perpetuate, it seems kind of hypocritical. Not everybody is is getting plastic surgery and wearing weave for you. I wear makeup, I wear weave, I wear wigs, I do not do plastic surgery, um, but if I could afford it, I wouldn't put it past me to do a little lipo, okay? I enjoy taking long showers with luxurious body washes and then putting on thick, fragrant um, lotions and body sprays and then going on to doing my makeup and my hair. I enjoy that entire process. I enjoy experimenting in different makeups. I enjoy experimenting with different hairstyles. I do my own hair. So I actually like to sit down and do my own hair and see what I can create. I like the fact, and all in all, I enjoy the fact that this one canvas can have all kinds of different looks. And there's nothing wrong with that. And for, so him, for him to assume that I am doing this for him, for men like him, or to be attractive to other men, you got it all wrong. Let's get to this football player. There is this ball player that said, well, why is it that successful black men are always dating white women? And my understanding is that somebody replied and says, well, black women typically come from, from broken homes and um, white women come from established, strong families. Um, they know their place. They're coachable blah, 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 blah. They're not realizing the reason why, maybe statistically, black children do majorly come from broken homes. A lot of this has to do with white supremacy and the structural um, inequalities that cause broken homes in the first place. A landmark case, Brown versus Board of Education, they demonstrated how separate is not equal, not only just in the educational realm, but also in the social realm. There was a black doll and a white doll sitting on the table. And the examiner or the researcher would then ask the child, which one is the pretty doll? Which one is the ugly doll? Which one is the nice doll? Which one is the mean doll? Which doll do you want to play with? Which doll do you not want to play with? The black doll was less desirable and the white doll was more desirable. And these are tiny little children who really 
or hopefully don't have sexuality in mind at this point. So the way that they were raised and just the things around them before they can even put two and two together, before they can get into toxic relationships that black men are saying this is the reason why they don't mess with black women. No, you have been thinking that ever since you were a child. And a lot of that has to do with white supremacy, that white is right and black is whack. There have been updated studies that have a wide range of color of dolls. And by and large, people were choosing the white as more desirable and the black is less desirable. And this was something that was conducted less than 10 years ago. And the study was conducted all over the world. And the same result came over and over and over again. The fact that he was so quick to bash black women as the reason why they don't choose to date us and that we're not coachable and that we're from broken homes, that again is demonstrated by the whole preference and which one is the bad doll, which one is the good doll. I'm sure that he did not take the time to do any kind of sociological or psychological studies to, to back up what he said. So anyways, that's just my two cents, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. What do you think about what Therese said? And then what do you think about how this whole ball player said that the reason why, you know, black men are not dating black women is because they're from broken homes. They don't know their place. White women are better and, and all this other stuff. Until next time, you all, love and blessings.